Hey. They're not gonna see this, right? Pete and Grant. It, what are they, the cool winners or whatever the fuck that shit's called, right? Whatever this cool runnings, cool winners bullshit is. You gotta have a particular taste in comedy to sit through all of that. Their jokes are bad. Did you want to make us uncomfortable or were you trying to make us laugh? It's like some shit an 11 year old wouldn't listen to. Like they they opened up at 5 to 9 one time and Grant was just saying all this rude ass shit. And he, then he made a rude comment about my father who wasn't even there. The feedback was really unforgiving. Uh, like, uh, let's see. <laughs> Offering 10 grand to whoever wastes these clowns. Yeah, um, I don't know what kind of tragedy needs to befall them, but they need to be put in their place. These fucking assholes were taking shots of MD-2020 in a Toys R Us in Greenville, South Carolina, and they were wearing Captain America shields or some shit like that, and some fucking kid started crying, and they got arrested. And what pisses me off about that is that they think they're DIY, but they have a PAP sponsorship, and that's just, it's so embarrassing for Atlanta. I mean, I'm just Grant's barista, but I've been microdosing him for months in hopes he'd come up with better content. And who the fuck does balloon animals? Pete's so elitist, Pete does nothing for Atlanta. He pretty much ruined the show, to be honest, because uh, he threatened to kill a couple people, but you know, nobody paid attention to it. Grant, stop fucking talking about Christ. Christ this, Christ that. I played a character called the Hog Mother, and after I left, I saw that they replaced me with literal stock footage of hogs, as if that would compensate. I just, I don't get it. Yeah, not really sure what it is. I never wanted to be a fucking babysitter, you know? Like, I literally have my master's degree. Two years ago, I got my tubes tied. For a reason. Terry Crews, Terry Crews. What? You're, you're our manager. You're not supposed to be putting us down like this. I thought you were supposed to be building us up, getting us more gigs, not dragging our name through the mud. Bah, I'm so disappointed in you. Oh well, are you ready to go inside and tour the Rust Theater and get ready for the big show? It's freezing, good God. Okay, quick recap. You're opening for Tommy Custard. Got it. Venue, the Rust Theater. Mm. Pretty exciting. Genre, comedy. Oh, by the way, I spoke to Gorm briefly. Wait a minute, wait a minute. One, two, three, you know Gorm? Why, hello everyone. Tip Top Grubby returning once again for another installment of Grubby Explains the Winiverse. Now, this is probably the first time you've heard our heroes mention the name Gorm. And if the mere sound of that name sends shivers up your spine, well, you are not alone. Gorm is... well, allow me to show you. I tell you, when I saw that last night, I screamed myself hoarse. Well, thank God nothing horrifying is ever gonna happen to us. Grant, when did you get a landline? A landline? I don't have a landline. That's the Gorm phone. The Gorm phone? Yes, the Gorm phone. It's the phone you use to talk to Gorm. I think he wants to talk to us. Oh, hi, Gorm. Yes, I'm very well. Thank you for calling. What can I do for you? Yes, Tommy Custard, the Rust Theater. Absolutely, we'll open for him anything you say. Yes, and he's here. Yes, I know you've been asking a lot about him, and he's finally here. You want to? Oh, okay. Absolutely, yes, my master. Anything you desire. Okay, give me one moment. Hey, Pete, Gore wants to talk to you right now. Hello? And 
so Pete put the phone to his ear and what he heard chilled him to the core. Now, you're probably wondering who this Gorm character is anyhow. Well, allow Robbie, me to explain Robbie, Robbie, to you Robbie. that... Uh, what? No, okay, we can, we can cut it right there. We really don't need the whole... Gorm explanation. I think we, that explains enough. I, we well, don't... Pete, I completely disagree. I think this story needs more right, narration Robbie, facts. Just listen. I, I to just clear think... up some of the questions that the audience may have about I know. who's who and I what's agree. what. <laughs> Robbie, I agree. It's just, I think for this particular episode, hear me out. For this particular episode, we just need the explanation of like how we got the whole Tommy Custard thing going on, and we don't exactly need a whole Gorm explanation. I mean, well, I suppose that that's necessary, but let's fill in the gaps, let's flesh out the universe, let's answer some burning questions that we absolutely. know our audience has about in the, the future. Cool in the future, Groby. Okay, well, they, we let's got, do it now. I put it off, my boy. Let's we, do we it agreed, now. We agreed that this was just going to be like you'd have like start having segments and in, in some of the episodes. Yes, if you could yes, calm down yes, and stop yes, giving yes, so much yes, all true, exposition. All true, it's just, but I you just want my expertise or not, Pete? You wanted my expertise or not? Groby, we, we love you. We, we're glad that you're here explaining this. I'm glad to be here too, but let me do my work, my boy. Let me do what I do best. Anyway, back to it. Oh, fuck, this is hot. So good, though. Pre-sale ticket orders came in. Ooh, you're, you're okay. Let's talk about dust. Yeah, cash. All right. Very exciting. Give me, give me, give me. Oh, oh shit. Uh, Damn no. it. These gloves. Yeah. Good luck with everything, you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. All right. Okay. Well. We'll start picking these coins up here. No, excuse me. Oh, yeah, I'm excuse me. Well, I'm gonna get some yeah, of them. Yeah, real quick. Sorry, I, was, well, I thought, I saw, thought oh. I saw a bug. It's all good. Oh. All right. Oh, did you not get any? Meanwhile, backstage at the Rust Theater. Ah, well, here's a couple of chairs. What do you say we take a seat and really start to plan out the show? On the way ahead of you. All right, man. Well, we gotta start it off with a bang. Mm. And I really want to hit it with something really funny and awesome that'll just absolutely knock their socks off the second we get on stage. So, what can we do? I don't know. I mean, maybe we should just be loud. I, I, I was thinking also, also, what if for one part of the show I was just wearing this hat? <laughs> Entire time, you know. We've been hanging out with you for a while. It's a good time. It's a good time. Yeah. Speaking of anchovies, uh, let's go head over to the snack bar. <laughs> Ooh, I like the sound of you that. You say snack? Absolutely. Ooh. Let's take a look at what we got here. Blue diamond oh. almond nut thins. Oh, are these garbanzo beans? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Hell yeah. Delicious. Well, what do you say we pour ourselves a bowl here? Yeah, huh? you're right. Let's uh, get these garbanzos open. My hands are a little too big. I guess we'll just settle with the nuts. Mm. Mm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Uh, a beer? A I beer? love a beer. Sure, yeah. yeah. That sounds great. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> All right. One beer. Oh. Wow, that was really impressive. Let's sit down and write some comedy. Hmm. So, the show's about to start, and we didn't prepare anything. So, let's, uh, let's brainstorm some ideas. Let's just fall some jokes. Let's find out what we're going to joke about and uh, we're going to riff on stage. So, what do you guys got? Okay, yeah, I mean, uh, well, I was just, like, thinking about doing this one thing uh, that Jeremiah likes it. Uh, oh, yeah? It's like this like bit I have like a, one of us to do about cereal. Where, oh, okay, uh, that could be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's lay it on me. Let's hear it. It's like I'm, I'm just, it's like I'm like talking about like, hey, I like cereal a little uh -huh. bit. Um, I've been eating a lot of cereal, and and then we talk about it, and you're like, you're like, oh, what well, was what kind of cereal have you eaten right. or something like that? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, oh my last box. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> my last box. <laughs> And then we, and then we're and then we kind of just like say something like uh, dumb or something. Okay. So, uh, what happens after the my last box? <laughs> so let's take it to the stage. See how it works. I don't. I don't think I'm ready, man. I, I think you got it. Yeah, you got it. Let's yeah. go. Take okay. like right advice. Comedy never stops. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I guess let's go. Hey, sure, I'll see you guys out there. I'll be here in the front. Like, like, I'm going to take my shirt before them. Mm. The stage has got to be around here somewhere. You think it's through that door over there? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I've never seen anything like that before. But that's probably just the eternal den of the permanent eye. Cool. Let's go to, you go to the stage. All right. Comedy awaits. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the stupendous, breathtaking, legendary, top drawer, just fine, A-OK, cool winner, comedy team. What's up, y'all? Woo! All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. We are the cool winners. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. We are the cool winners. My name is Pete. I tell some pretty funny jokes. My name is Grant, and I also tell funny jokes. All the jokes we got, oh boy, they're really top notch. Take some paper and another two pencil and take notes while you watch. Don't be afraid to laugh when you feel the urge. I'm a 90s kid, so you know I gotta have my search. What's up, y'all? <laughs> What's up, motherfuckers? Welcome to Rush Theater. Cool winners live at the Rush Theater tonight, December 29th, December 29, 2017. And That's today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, thanks y'all for coming out. You guys seem like an awesome fucking crowd, which yeah. I mean, gets me pumped up. And uh, see ya. I think I'm gonna. I don't know. I I don't. I never do stuff like this, but you guys seem like a really awesome crowd. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I I got. I'm gonna treat you guys tonight. I have a mint. So. Y'all can enjoy it. It's a sweet little treat for y'all. Let's do it, man. Let's get ready to laugh. You just decided to do the mint thing regardless of like what we talked about. Uh, uh, just be you know, to treat the crowd to okay. a mint. Hey, everybody. Has, thanks for coming. Uh, fuck. Uh, well, uh, Grant, how this is hog you? shit. Dude, I'm doing really good. Though. It's been a great weekend. Been a great week. Um, past weekend, though, um, was at a funeral for a good friend of mine, actually. Oh, yeah? So I'm trying to kind of get back on top of everything here it was really sad. Wow, um, wow. I don't know if you remember um, from high school, Ground Beef. Ah, oh, shit, Ground Beef is dead? Yeah, he was in my homeroom class. Um, he's passed away. Damn. Um, but the funeral was this weekend. I got to go, and it was beautiful. It was very respectful to him and his okay. family. It was just, the day was really awesome. pretty perfect. Um, I will say, though, uh, it was an open casket funeral, and um, the casket was just full of ground beef. Ah. Mm. Damn, it sucks. Um, well, how was the rest of the service? Oh, well, the service was great. It was fast, it was friendly. Okay. Uh, I got to have two plates of chips to dip the ground beef in. Um, I highly recommend you go. There's actually like a corner table by the window. So is this a DIY venue? You ever been to Rust Theater before? They doing it themselves over here? Now, who do you think these guys are, though? I ain't seen them around here. And they goofy, man. I, I like to, I love the boxes of cereal because like they have like the cartoon characters and you get to do little puzzles on the back. Um, and so I, I've been doing, I've been, I, I, I haven't, um, I like collect, I, get, I like cereal. So um, the cereal that I like to pick, um, it, it varies. So. Cool, well, uh, hope you just enjoy your cereal when you eat it, man. That's awesome. I, well, um, um, I haven't, what's up? I have, I usually have like a good selection of cereal and I haven't, I haven't had cereal in a while, so. Awesome, well, um, again, I'm happy for you that you're enjoying that cereal, the, that's cool. The, oh, the My Last Box thing, that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My Last Box? What, fuck, Grant, no, no, okay, the, the, li the line is, oh, my last, like, I'm, I'm Okay, well you had like five minutes. What the fuck? See, what oh, y'all did didn't say? want the mint? Huh? What did I say? I just don't want a free little fucking candy I get to. Didn't have to give it to you, but I <clears throat> did. Fuck yeah. Well, Great. enjoy it now, huh? That little welt feels good. A little peppermint welt for you. <laughs> I told you not when to When you bring give it. them treats and they don't want it, 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 it flies all over don't you. Don't bring like, peppermint. Bring something else. Bring I, something I they actually want. a free easy treat to give to them. I would think they would want it. So, like, it, I, I, this is their fucking fault, not mine. I give you a free treat. I'm not. First of all, I'm not going to scream. Not going to scream. Not going to yell. Not going to scream. Not going to. Okay, kind of. Keep the darkness in. Keep the darkness in. Don't scream. Don't. Grant? Don't yell, don't do a diving kick. I'm no, not gonna. Okay. I, I just, I'm just saying, throw some, maybe throw something that's not a pepper.
peppermint, throw something softer, maybe like, I don't know. Yeah, we can throw like a box of cereal, some dumb shit you want to do. So whatever, I did my thing. It was fantastic, it was beautiful, it was funny. These jackasses out here don't appreciate it. I'm the good guy, they're the bad guys. Also, you can fuck off. Quite a DIY show, eh? Hmm. I love coming to the first theater, especially today, December 29th. <laughs> anyway, what are you up to? You like this show? You ever had this beer stuff before? Hmm. Makes you feel a touch crazy, does it not? <laughs> well, anyway, I just came over to chat and say hi. You seemed interesting. Thanks so much, guys, for coming. This was awesome. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Uh, I, I love y'all. I'll, I'll see y'all later. And yeah. like know, we always say, Gonzo! <laughs> y'all have a great night now. <laughs> Okay, it would have been a lot better if you didn't wear that hat. You fucking, you didn't have, you could have just thrown out a t-shirt, something like that people That wanted. wasn't the problem. They would have loved it if it hadn't been for the hat. I told you back in the day, don't wear the, the hat. hat. Fine. What's, what's wrong with the not, hat? It's not fucking fine, fucking Charlie hat. Brown. well at all no we didn't get a single laugh and why weren't you wearing the fucking hat i told you this is the backstage hat I told you i was gonna wear hamburgers in the back a wool cut a wool cap out front no 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 we specifically said you were gonna wear the hamburger hat the second we get on stage that was supposed to be our big laugh right out of the gate okay we're gonna bring the house down right once we got up there this was supposed to be our who's on first man I don't see how a hat's gonna make a difference. It's a hamburger bucket hat, Pete. It's hilarious. It's wacky. It's crazy. Hamburgers aren't supposed to be on hats, and that's why it's funny. That's why people laugh at it, okay? But they weren't laughing at it because you weren't wearing it, okay? Well, what can I say? I just, this is just my lucky backstage thing. It's different. Well, if it's your backstage hat, let's just have the show backstage next time, huh? That's fine. Whatever. I guess, I guess we're just trash. Yeah. Look. Let's just go watch Tommy Custer bring the house down, all right? Sure, fuck it. Please welcome the iconic 90s comedian, Tommy Custer! Hello, Rust Theater! Everybody say it with me now. Why won't anybody notice my tie? <laughs> oh, I see you there. Yeah, I see you too. All right. Ah, oh, God, it's good to be back. Opening night of the Custard's last stand-up tour. So glad the promoters and the bookers and the venue and the other comedians could all get together and coalesce to make this night happen. You know, I really appreciate everyone involved. It was cool having those, the, those, those cats, those new cats on the block opening up, you know. Uh, the cool winners, yeah, they were pretty funny, huh? Yeah? No? Uh, all right, well, it's, you gotta have a variety on your lineup. I'm happy to be here once again, the Rust Theater, but... They normally have just a really, really f compelling spread lined up for me in the back. You know, a really nice charcuterie, if you will. Uh, all assortment of hot dogs, hamburgers, ketchup, mustard, horseradish, uh, pickles, onions, chutney, oh, sweet chutney. We put that phone there. This does not look good, man. I don't know what we're gonna... Wait a minute. The Gorm phone, I... Oh, I see what's going on here. Looks like Gorm just needed a new host body. It's okay. I'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all. The end. Will the coop winners their comedy hacks? They're always cracking jokes, but no one's smiling back. The coop winners they're up on the stage. They're talking about Suppose that is because then.